We're doing a quick video on how to replace a radiator, but before we do that, we'll do an even quicker one on the valves on a radiator. Uh, on one side of some radiators in some homes, you will have a thermostatic radiator valve, uh, TRV. If you have a look at our video on how a TRV works, you'll see more about that. But on the other side of the radiator, you will have this little beauty, and this is called a lock shield valve, okay? So there's a shield within there that locks down to stop the water coming in. Um, this side connects to the radiator, um, just straightforward radiator um, nut, screws onto that. This side comes from your hot water, um, from your central heating water system, so we'll leave that off. So the water is coming up through here. A lot of people think that the lock shield, let's take the cap off of the lock shield, that simply pulls off and you'll see that we have a little spindle there that we can turn on and off with a spanner. Um, the better lock shield valves come with another cap with a little slot in the head and we like to leave these on. The slot fits over the spindle and makes that easy to turn on and off. And as I said, a lot of people think that with a lock shield valve it stops the water at this point here. It actually doesn't. It stops the water coming in through the bottom of the valve through the central heating. Now I'm going to open that fully and then I'm going to ask the camera to zoom in on that if that's at all possible. And you can see that that's fully open. It'll go a bit blurry I suspect while I move this around and, and close it to its fullest extent and then if you zoom in again you can see that that's fully shut. So that's how a lock shield valve works. They normally go on one side of the radiator. You can get um, lock shields that, that have a drain plug as well. That's always handy on the last radiator on the system. Have a drain plug on the lock shield and that, and that will allow you to drain all of the water out of the system to take your radiators on and off. Um, so there we go. That's how a, a lock shield valve works uh, from DIY Doctor.